in order to sort of perform transfer ranking to a high degree of accuracy, you need to ensure that the source data from which you're learning the information from is reasonably similar to the, the downstream task at hand. My name is Daniel Poe, and the research that I've most recently worked on is transfer ranking and finance. Uh, at its core, what it simply does is transferring knowledge from one task to another that's closely related. So let's just say, for example, if you're trying to play a game of tennis, right? And if you're coming from the angle of like someone who has played racket sports such as badminton or squash before, you're going to start from somewhere as opposed to someone who has never played the, the, the game before. You'll be starting from uh, tabula rasa. That's basically what it is. Cross-sectional strategies using learning to rank, they work really, really well and they outperform their counterparts. But what they're assuming is that you have a large data set to work with. Uh, what this research actually does is that we show how to sort of um, construct strategies uh, with these algorithms and use them on assets with very limited training samples. So I think a key risk with uh, this model is that uh, there's always the risk that you are learning from a data set which might not be applicable to the ranking task at hand. So I think new researchers should always be careful that, you know, like um, if you're trying to learn something, you need to be learning something that's closely related to the ranking task at hand, so much that this does not affect the, uh, you know, like um, the performance of the model. Ideally, the data set should, you know, like um, share certain statistical properties. So meaning to say, that if you're looking at something like Bitcoin, uh, ideally, the underlying data set from which you're transferring information from should also exhibit the same kind of volatility uh, that is similar to the, uh, the asset class that you're trying to sort of like eventually perform the ranking in. So I think this model is best suited for like a new instruments. Uh, I think this would mean cryptocurrencies, which have been around, but not for a really long time. Uh, and also for like newer ones, just like uh, I believe there's this uh, three month short term uh, euro rate that was launched by Urex just recently. And there's also fixed income products, uh, which I believe is the elephant in the room and which has also seen a fair bit of like a factor based strategies being deployed recently. More specific um, corporate credit. I would use the model on uh, corporate credit because they don't exactly enjoy the same kind of longevity as their stock counterparts. So there's two main areas where new researchers can pick up from. The first of which uh, is in terms of the data being used. So there are, there's opportunities from extracting information from not just one, but multiple data sets. And this should improve uh, and provide the model with a much more richer information stream. In terms of the model, uh, we've kept the, uh, the model that we've used in this paper really, really simple just to prove the transfer ranking point. Uh, and this opens up a lot of opportunities for new researchers to design and implement much more sophisticated models that should ideally improve the ranking performance of the overall, uh, of the overall respective models. 